In New Jersey, leaders of a recreational area have come up with a clever way to get rid of weeds. They've hired a group of goats. Yes, goats. It's happening at Sadler's Woods, a historic 25 acre track of woods in the middle of the suburbs. Our Madeline Wright has the story from Haddon Township. Across the street from a tall apartment building, amid the traffic noise and the roar of airplanes overhead, sits an urban oasis in Saddler's Woods where a herd of goats grazes peacefully. Oh, I, I love them. I, anytime that nature can be in, in, you know, in the metropolis, it was not a metropolis, but you know, in with all these cars and stuff, and all, I just think it's really neat. Back for its second year, Operation Goat Munch brings in 10 goats from a farm in New York to eat the weeds and poison ivy that are taking over the small patch of woods. Janet Gaynor Jacobs is the executive director of the Saddler's Woods Conservation Association, which is spending $35,000 to rent and maintain the goats. They are eating a variety of invasive species, so they eat garlic mustard, multiflora rose, Japanese knotweed. Basically, all the baddies in the woods that we're trying to get rid of. Gaynor Jacobs says some of the goats were rescued from abusive petting zoos. Others are retired milking goats, all of them getting a new lease on life. It's really interesting to see people come together as a community around the goats. The project creates an opportunity for complete strangers to form a bond. Dozens of people came to say hi to the goats on Mother's Day. So I'd like to see more of this. I mean, this is just another example of just, you know, uh, I think natural maintenance. So we're not using pesticides. You know, we're not doing something dangerous. I think they're really cool, and hopefully they'll eat a lot of this overgrowth. They look pretty hungry. The goats spend 15 to 16 hours a day feeding. They'll have to go back to their farm sometime in June or July, but until then, <laughs> families will continue to enjoy watching them work. In Haddon Township, Madeline Wright, CBS News, Philadelphia.